And she sold this for $90. She picked it up at a consignment sale for $8. And that was on Facebook. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys. I have 42 Bolos coming your way. Items to be on the lookout for. Items you can hopefully buy low and sell high. These come from featured Bolo Buddies members. And I've got 14 members that I'm going to share with you. Three Bolos from each. So get ready because there are some big money bolos in here. I'm going to tell you where they got the item, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. So let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Time reseller. $600 for a My Little Pony. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. So the first item comes from Philly Flipper. If you have not checked out his channel, I highly recommend it. He is almost to 9,000 subscribers. He has a really unique way of showing his, um, like when he goes out to the yard sales and to the auction houses, he takes you on the journey with him, but he also puts in edits and pops up how things are listed and when they sell. So it's definitely educational. So check him out for Bolo items. The first item he sold is the stained glass Tiffany mushroom shape lamp and he sold this on mercari for 150 dollars and the buyer paid shipping and this sold in less than a week and he paid ten dollars for it the next item are these tailor made um oh what do you call them golf clubs and he picked these up at a yard sale for 15 dollars took two days to sell and he sold them for 170 dollars plus shipping the next item is this vintage new old stock um, with the original box, perfume, Levin or Lanvin Spanish geranium mist, fancy. And he paid $90 for 50 bottles of perfume. So about $1.80 for this. And this one sold for a best offer of $100. The next item comes from a rural squirrel. She does a ton of Ben's vi videos and she does a lot of challenges where she goes and meets up with other YouTubers and they are super fun videos. Definitely go check her out if you have not already. She is linked down below along with everyone else that I'm going to mention here in this video. All right. She picked up these at Ross. Ross is a discount store, kind of like TJ Maxx or Gabriel Brothers, just a discount store. And she paid $29.99 for these. And the she sold them on best offer for $140 plus shipping. So Doc Martens can definitely be a bolo, whether they're new or old, they seem to do pretty well. So Ross, you guys, is selling Doc Martens. Check that out. This next item is from, uh, she was at the Goodwill Bins and she picked up a whole bunch of these, she said. One of them sold for $75. This one, she took a best offer of 44 and she said by weight, it cost her about 45 cents and the buyer paid shipping on this. Now, if this here is marker, what you can do is take a dry erase marker and if you go over that, just rub over it and then take a paper towel, that will come off. So that is just a little tip if you guys haven't seen that on my channel before. So dry erase marker, it's like magic. The next item is a Christian Kota, Kata. I don't know. It's a skirt. She said it's 100% silk. And she picked this up at the Goodwill Benz for $1.14. And she took a best offer of $72 plus shipping on this. Here is the tag. And that is a fancy, fancy skirt. Dug it out of the Benz. Isn't that amazing? The next item comes from Leo's Treasure. She does not have a YouTube channel, but this is her eBay store. Definitely go check her out and see some of the different items that she has available. Definitely some cool stuff here. All right. And the eBay stores are linked down below also for all of the sellers in this video. So this is a beer tap. She bought 20, or I'm sorry, a box of nine for 20 dollars. I think I'm reading this right. And it ended up being about 75 cents um, per tap. So I must have written down a number wrong. 
So if it was 75 cents and she sold this for $79.96, it's a Sweetwater Fish Trout Beer Tap. Look how pretty it is. Wow, that's cool, right? And there's the markings on it. And I don't know if she got that at an auction or where she got it. The next item is this Gund 1982 Pink Bunny Rabbit. Hard to find. Um, HTF stands for hard to find. She got this at a thrift store for $2.99 and she sold it for a best offer of $35.75. And the buyer paid shipping on that. The next item, she took these off of a men's blazer. It was a Chaps by Ralph Lauren blazer that she picked up at the Goodwill for $2.99. And she scrapped the blazer because of the condition, but she pulled the buttons off and sold them. So pretty cool. She sold those for $32.75 plus shipping. The next item comes from Double T's Treasures, and this is her YouTube channel. Definitely go over and sub her up. She does little collab videos with other YouTubers as well. Lots of great information over here, how to clean without chemicals, um, different, just different stuff. So check her out. And she sold, I picked this one from her store. I was like, you got to tell me about this Chef Boyardee. And she's like, well, some of the stores can't get it. So she listed them on eBay. And I think she sold like four or five of them, but she paid. $2.98 each for them. So a total of $18 in these. And she sold them for $77.97 with free shipping. So not huge profits, but she sold four or five of them. And that's pretty easy to uh, pick up and ship. So pretty interesting. And she got it at uh, retail arbitrage from Walmart. The next item is these Lily Pulitzer men's shorts. So we all know that Lily Pulitzer women's items do well. These are shorts. And she got these at a thrift store for $6, took a best offer of $50. And the buyer paid shipping on those. These are Jinko, J-N-C-O. And they usually have some sort of patch or embellishment on them. These don't have, they're not too fancy. They've got the little patches there as seen. But these are a, I'm going to say a, they're size 11. So I'm pretty sure that's a junior size. And they're kind of a skater style. She got these for $6 at the Goodwill. And she sold them for $122.96 with free shipping. The next item comes from It's All Goods 94. And this is her, um, she doesn't have a store. So when you click on the link, it's just going to take you to a list of her items like I'm showing you here. So definitely go check her out. She's got some really cool stuff. She does a lot of toys, but it looks like she's got some lava lamps listed. So that's pretty cool. I would not want to ship a framed. And she got this for $2 at a thrift store and sold it for $210 plus shipping. The next item is this Lionel Heavy Duty Construction Zone Electric Train. And this one came from a yard sale. She paid $10 for it and she sold it for a best offer of $89. Let's see. So it looks like they're just plastic trains, but they are Lionel. So that's a pretty popular train brand there. This one's pretty cool. Play-Doh Cookie Monsters Letter Lunch Alphabet, Sesame Street. And it says C details. So I'm guessing if it's older that the Play-Doh might be dried out. I don't know. Let's see. She got this at Savers, which is a thrift store, for 4 bucks and took a best offer of $50 plus shipping. The next item comes from the Funky Pickle Thrifter. Oh my goodness, she's so close to 4,000 subscribers. I'm guessing she's going to have hit it by the time I release this video, but you all definitely need to go sub her up. Look at this, finding uranium glass in my vintage jewelry. How cool is that? Did you guys know that with a black light, some jewelry glows? Check that out. All right, she sold and she finds crazy stuff at garage sales. She got this at a garage sale for $2. It is a opal cluster 14 karat gold necklace. And she sold this for a best offer of $390 and the buyer paid shipping. She also sold this vintage Dave Clark doll. It is um, a collectible and it's, let's see, I'm trying to see here uh, the brand. Oh, Remco. And she got this at a yard sale for a buck and she sold it for $69.99 plus shipping. 
So she specializes in jewelry, but she also sells a lot of really cool vintage items. These underwear she picked up at a junk store. I'm not sure what a junk store is, but I've heard other people call um, places they go junk stores also. She got these for a dollar each. I think she said she bought about 10 different packs. And she sold these for $27.99 each. It looks like she had three of this exact pair. And so a dollar into $27.99 three times is pretty, pretty good. This next item comes from Butterfly Hustles. And again, another awesome YouTube channel. You guys, these YouTube channels are amazing. Go check them out. You will learn so much. And she does a lot of thrift with me videos and super, super knowledgeable and an awesome bolo finder. So what did she find? She found this Johnny Was tunic top at the Goodwill for $4.49. And she sold that for $180.40. Let me see if I can find you a tag here. Um, Here's the inner tag of the shirt. So it's embroidered, looks like that. She sold this vintage WF Washington Forge flatware. She got this at the Goodwill for $5.50 and she sold it for $76.50 plus shipping. And the last item she sold is this vintage 1940s girls doll ice skating winter outfit. And she got this for free and took a best offer of $43 with free shipping. The next item comes from Vintage Barbie, and she just did this video, and it has over a thousand views already, and she is brand new to YouTube, so that is awesome. Super excited for her there, and definitely go sub her up. She's going to estate sales and taking you guys along with her and doing a fantastic job. So what did she sell? She sold these vintage panties that she picked up in one of her recent videos, so check that out. Um, let's see. She got these for a bucket and estate sale and sold them for $26 on auction plus shipping. The next item she sold is this fairy doll gazelle Catherine's creation. It's a 33 inch doll with wings. So it is really, really a big doll there. Look at that. That is so neat. Wow. Um, $15 at an auction, and she sold it for $51 plus shipping. And the next item she sold is this Dungeons and Dragons. Um, I think it's the game. It's got dice and papers. She got this at an estate sale, and it's in her most recent video. Uh, she paid three bucks for it and sold it for $125 plus shipping. So that's fantastic. The next item comes from the Rebel Reseller, and her and I just did a collaboration video where we purchased a um, $50 uh, plush lot from Donatella Bottolino. So definitely go check out and see what she got and check out what I got and see who you think had the better box or bag. Um, pretty fun uh, collaboration, and I really appreciate that she did that with me and super excited to do more things like that in the future. All right, so she is a bolo finder. She sells tons of plush. She is like a plush expert. Okay, so she uh, sells tons of plush, but she also sells toys and other vintage items as well. So she is definitely a bolo finder. Definitely sub up her channel. The Lion King battle fighting action figures. They're just action figures. Come on, are you kidding me? Um, I think I've sold these before, but I think what is really helping this is that it's got all of the animals there. And she sold this for $90. She picked it up at a consignment sale for $8. And that was on Facebook. This Etsy sale, she sold this on Etsy. It's a Tyco Kitty Kitty Kittens Tiger Plush. And I'm looking at how beat up hers is. And I'm thinking the one that I sold for $35, I should have just done a buy it now on it. I don't know if you guys saw that video, but I found one at a thrift store in a bunch of plush and it was really, really ratty, um, just in rough condition. But this one really is not in, it might be in a little better condition and maybe this one's more rare, but, um, or harder to find. But yeah, I ended up selling mine for 35. So in hindsight, I should have just put a buy it now or best offer and or maybe did an auction and started it higher. So if you see these, they are collectible, highly collectible. People want them and they will pay up for them. This sold for $71.95 plus shipping on Etsy. 
And the next item here is this Strawberry Shortcake minifigures lot from the 1980s. She got these at an estate sale and a lot of toys. So her cost of goods was about a buck. And she sold this for $44.95 plus shipping. And the Kitty 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 came from the Goodwill bins. The next item is from Yard Sales and Dreams. Again, another awesome channel. Go check out this and pony that she sold. Oh my goodness. You may have seen it on my channel, but um, wow, just an awesome, an awesome find there. All right. What did she sell? She's a big money bolo finder. She sold this Fed Frederick Remington bronze sculpture. She paid $100 for this. So she knew it was a bolo and she paid up for it. It ended up selling for $399.99. And the buyer paid shipping on that. The next item she sold is this beautiful, amazing painting. And she said that the buyer requested that they take it out of this awesome frame and roll it up and ship it to them. I think the, uh, the frame is just amazing i love this i love it um she got this at an estate sale for eight dollars took a best offer of 170 plus shipping the next item here is this uh tanker it's a 1979 precision products wheeler 18 wheeler truck trailer remote control she got this at a storage unit pickup and storage unit pick i'm sorry paid five bucks for it and sold it for 380 dollars plus shipping the next item here comes from Lake Threads. He doesn't have any content yet, but he is looking to do some in the future. So check him out. And what did he sell? He sold this Orvis Carry It All Fly Fishing Bag, new without tags. He got this at a thrift store. He did pay up for it. He paid $40 for it, but he sold it for $135 plus shipping. The next item is this Disney Trader Sam's 2021 Jungle Cruise Boat Dole Whip Disney Bowl with Oar Spoon. So he actually purchased three of these. He paid $1.70 each. One sold for $31.50. Another sold for $39.99. And he has one available. And the buyer paid shipping on those. The next item are these Hoka. I think that's how you pronounce it. They are tennis shoes. And these are pretty popular from what I understand. I've never sold any. Um, I don't do a lot of shoes in my store. But I do know about this brand. Oh, what's he? Oh, it's the other shoe. I was like, what is that? Thought maybe it had something attached to the bottom. He paid $15 for these at a thrift store and he sold them for $55.99. The next item comes from Gail's New and Vintage. And she uh, does not have an eBay store, but you can find her down in the description. I have a link that will take you here. And then you can kind of just scroll through her other listed items like I'm doing right here. Now, this first item she sold, she sold on Poshmark. So she also sells over there. It's a NASCAR M&M jacket, and she sold this for $150. She picked it up at an, uh, I'm sorry, a yard sale for four bucks. She sold this Sega Sonic the Hedgehog. It's a little three-inch figure toy. She got it for 10 cents at a yard sale and sold it for $37.79 plus shipping. Now that is my kind of bolo. I love toy bolos. All right, and this Trifari Vintage Lucite and Liquid Silver Tone modernist necklace free from her friend she sold this for a best offer of sixty dollars plus shipping the next item comes from Gigi's gold mine and this is his store it is also linked down in the description no youtube channel but really really cool stuff here so definitely go and check him out what did he sell he sold this frankenstein he got this at a garage sale for a dollar fifty what a steal of a deal there it's 36 inches. Those blow molds can definitely be big money. They are kind of a pain to ship in my opinion, but uh, people do it all the time. I just don't like shipping big stuff. He sold this for $110 plus shipping. The next item he pulled out of a mystery box, a mystery toy box from Auctions for You. Um, her YouTube channel will be linked down below as well. If you're looking for inventory, um, her and Donatella Bottolino sell um, inventory to resellers. So definitely check them out, linked below. This one, he said, by the time he unpackaged everything and divided it out, he had about $5 in this, and it sold for $129.99. Batman, the Killing Joke graphic novel collector set. So that is a nice bolo. 
And I featured another item that he got um, that was from auctions for you also. So he must have had a really awesome box. Taco Bell plush chihuahua 1998 dog. It's an advertising dog. He got this at a garage sale for three bucks and sold it for $24.99 plus shipping. The next item comes from One Stop Shop 59. Oh my goodness, look at that vase. Ah, it's an owl that is so cute. If you don't know, I love owls. So she has a really, really cool store. Lots of really unique um, items in her store, collectibles, interesting stuff like that. So definitely go check her out. The next item, okay, Anna Lee's Sass in Class Hot Water Cornbread Cookie Jar Small. She got this at a thrift store for $3 and sold it for $47.81 plus shipping. So it's a cookie jar. Rare Rock America Alex Pardee Bunny with Mint. With Mint? I don't know what that means. I'm trying to figure out what on earth this is. Is it just a plush? Huh. I don't see the tag. Here it is. Bunny with. Bunny with. Huh. Oh, she's probably saying, okay, Bunny with is the name. And then she's saying mint with tag from 2004. Uh, she got this for 25 cents at an estate sale and it sold for $28.87. Okay, this next one she said she picked up at um, an estate sale for $10. She held off on listing it for a while because she was afraid it would get pulled. I'm covering up. It's nude and it is, uh, she is well endowed. So um, I don't know what the rules are for wood sculptures being nude. I know a lot of anything else that's nude has to go like in a separate, I think there's like an adult section of eBay. I don't know. I don't sell in that section. So I don't know too much about it, but um, it did not get taken down because of it. Maybe because it's um, a wood sculpture. I don't know if anybody has any information on that, please let us know in the comments because I'm not real sure, but I'm going to cover it up. <laughs> so, um, because it is, yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> anyway, she got this for 10 bucks and she ended up selling it for a best offer of $114 and 50 cents plus shipping. So it's a beautiful wood carving, but, um, definitely nudity. So, um, not sure if the, how that falls into the guidelines of eBay, but definitely uh, before you list something, whether it be a wood sculpture or a sculpture in general, or I don't know, like I know photographs that are nude and um, I think magazines, that stuff cannot be put on eBay, at least not on regular eBay. So look into that before you list, but definitely um, some really cool bolo items in this video. Big money bolos. What was your favorite bolo? Let me know down in the comments. If you made it this far, uh, put a hat emoji. And if you're new to the channel, thanks so much for being here. If you've been here a long time, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And as I mentioned, these are members of my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel, this channel. If you would like to join memberships to be in a video like this, you can join at level two. It's $4.99 a month, and that gets you in this video. If not, no worries. My channel is completely free. This is just for people that want the perks of getting a shout out and getting their bolo shared. So thank you so much for being here and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.